welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a 36 on the science section with no science knowledge. Now, this concept might sound outrageous to you, but in reality, the science section has nothing to do with science. It is the most mismarketed, terribly named section on the ACT. I have a whole video course all about the ACT. Go check it out. I'm going to link, leave a link in the description that goes very into depth into what we're going to talk about today, as well as each of the four sections of the ACT. So how do we get a 36 on the science section of the ACT? Well, step number one, identify the question type. There are three different types of science questions on the ACT. If you're able to correctly identify them, you can know how to treat the question and how to extract the information quickly, which is really what the science section is about. It's more of a critical analysis and a reasoning section to be able to get information quickly. And once you recognize what type of question it is, you know how much time to spend on it, and you can budget your time, get the correct answers, and move on. Step number two to get a 36 on the science section. Vary your reading amount. Not all passages are created equal, and not all sections of the passage are created equal. You need to be able to learn to vary how much you're reading of the science section based on the question type. Questions that tend to be more graph oriented require less reading than questions that require more analytical thinking. In my course, we go over in depth how to recognize each of these question types as well as how you should respond exactly how much you should read. The third step to get a 36 on the science section is to focus on the key parts. There will always be vocab words, there will always be certain parts of the passage or the figures that are more important than others. If you can learn to identify where the answers are more often occurring, you will be able to be successful in the science section and improve your score. The answers are consistently hidden in the same spots of the passage. And when I say spots, I don't mean location. I don't mean go to the right corner of the test and then leave the answers there. I mean that maybe in a certain pattern on the figure. Well, they'll put it in a certain spot on the figure or in certain sentences that you're reading. We talk about that a little bit in my reading section video. You can go check that out where we talk, uh, it's called, uh, where we use a technique called skimming. It's kind of similar to that. The fourth step to get a 36 on the science, on the ACT science section is use your time wisely. On the ACT science section, time is king. If you aren't able to pace yourself correctly, you won't be able to answer all the questions and it'll be impossible to get a 36 on the science section. In the science section, as you get closer to a 36, one question can be worth two points. If you get one question wrong, that can drop you down to a 34. I experienced that many times in my path to getting a 36 on the science section. It was very difficult for me because I would get one question wrong and it would drop my whole score by two points. How you need to avoid that is seek perfection in your timing. If you have enough time, you can check your answers. You can go through them at a good pace where you are understanding the information you're extracting and are less likely to make errors. When it comes down to it, how you feel on test day will make a big difference. So maybe you don't get a 36 your first try after applying these techniques. But as you fine tune these skills and these steps and you keep taking the test, you will land on that good test day and you will be able to get a 36 on the ACT science section. So to review, we went over the four steps to get and a 36 on the ACT science. Step one was identify the question type. Step two was modify our reading to fit. Step three was to pay attention to key phrases, key parts, keywords. Step four was to use our time wisely. These are my four steps to be able to get a 36 on the ACT science section. If you're interested in learning more, go check out my course content that I have available. It outlines everything very succinctly. So you can be able to apply these techniques, get a 36 on the science section and achieve your goals. Go out there, get it, get to studying and really put in the work and you can get where you need to go. I'll see you next time.